With the ongoing rain, of course, many people keeping a close watch on Lake Okeechobee. We do know water releases from the lake will keep going through March 29th. Then a two-week break is planned, but environmentalists say it's not enough time for a fragile St. Lucie estuary and its marine fisheries to recover. The Corps says it's trying to balance estuary concerns, rainfall, and upcoming hurricane season. Releases over the past 40 days have pushed the level of Lake Okeechobee to about 15 and a half feet, a bit less than a foot below its level when releases began. But will that satisfy the Corps? Environmentalists worry, indeed they believe, releases will pick up after the planned break and run at least until June 1st. Because if history's any guide, the Corps wants to push the lake level closer to at least 14 feet or even lower than that before the start of that storm season, June 1st. This is uh, the season when the oysters and seagrass spawn, the seagrasses are trying to grow, and all the fish are spawning in this estuary, and they need that balance of fresh and salt water. But if you've inundated with so much fresh water and so much pollution, it's just incredible that they're even thinking about doing it. So it's just crazy. Environmental worries and economic ones for all those who rely on the estuary and the lagoon to make their livings. Mark Perry and other environmentalists argue the Army Corps of Engineers should have begun with smaller releases last fall as the lake level at that time was climbing above 16 feet.